sponsored by Jeans Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the official dealership of Life in Alaska. Hello, everyone. Welcome back into Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again for a look at the weather. And, you know, the Arctic man is only a week away. In fact, uh, Howard Thies uh, sent me this photograph where they're getting things ready. These are nine-foot drifts, folks, so plenty of snow ready for the Arctic man. And our man Joe Cook will be covering that for you. Anyway, if you have a photograph to share, you, by all means, send it to Mike Schultz at KTBF11.com. Here's what's uh, going on right off the airport. 30 degrees after a high of 31. The low last night, 2 degrees. Record high, 56 in 1994. Record low 31 below in 1944. Sunrise and sunset works out to 13 hours, 46 minutes of daylight, a gain of seven minutes from yesterday. Here's our picture today, and not a whole lot going on across the state. As you can see, high pressure is really dominating very nicely. Just a few scattered showers across the North Gulf Coast, nothing in the interior, so things look pretty good. And our overall map showing across the state, not really a lot to talk about. A few clouds along the Aleutian chain up on the North Slope, and maybe just a few showers around Juneau, but that's about it. Pretty nice weather across the entire state. What's going on in the lower 48? Well, we'll start on the Pacific Northwest, first of all, and show you that uh, Seattle looks pretty good, along with Portland. They're looking pretty good. All the way across the country to the northeast and the east. Chicago at 45 degrees, also 45 degrees in New York. Nice weather there. Over the southeast, a few showers and thunderstorms still rumbling across the deep south, around Atlanta, Georgia, and Dallas-Fort Worth. And over to the west, Looks pretty nice up and down the West Coast. Los Angeles is 71 degrees, Phoenix at 85. Our satellite picture tonight, again, showing a little bit of a intense uh, thunderstorm activity moving across parts of Texas. A little bit of a cutoff low developing around there, Denver, so we have to keep an eye on that. That might bring some snow to Denver, of all things. You find that pretty interesting. And severe storm threat is uh, expected tonight and tomorrow night over much of Texas into uh, much of the deep south. And the overall jet stream, again, is bringing those storm systems uh, from the west to the east. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies at Barrow, Fort Yukon, and cloudy skies in Nome. Here in the interior, it looks pretty nice. Uh, partly cloudy and mild for Fairbanks and Healy. Over southeast Alaska, the rain is going to be out of the picture. Mostly cloudy skies for both Juneau and Ketchikan. And out to the southwest, we'll have a mixed bag of weather there. Partly cloudy at Bethel, rainy in Cold Bay, and cloudy skies for Kodiak. And around the south central regions, looks like partly sunny skies in Anchorage and Homer, and partly cloudy skies for Valdez. Once again, it is time for a look at our kids' weather this week, talking with the kids from Ann Wayne Elementary School. Tonight, a young man has a picture for us of a storm. And this is my weather picture. One day in El Paso, Texas, it was raining and thundery, and there was a lot of, and there was a big blackout that blacked out the whole entire city. Um, we couldn't see nothing, and there was a lot of wind. Pretty stormy in El Paso. Tomorrow night, a young lady will be here with a weather question for me. Here's your forecast for the remainder of the night. 10 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, slightly cooler temperatures. Tomorrow's forecast calling for 35 again. Another day like today, partly cloudy and mild. And the good news is the extended forecast calling for temperatures to continue very nice. A little cooler by Sunday but uh, mainly partly cloudy to clear skies across the interior. And overnight lows will once again be very comfortable. A little cool at times, but overall, for this time of year, pretty comfortable. And like I said, things are looking really nice.